At around level 20, go to the Rainbow Mines where you can encounter a rarefied bag of laughs, called Bag of Sweets, and use Itemized Kill or Hallelujah to obtain the Monarch's Mittens. This accessory is normally obtained in Act 3 and gives 44 charm and 60 deafness. After defeating Arachtagon and gaining access to the open ocean, sail up to Snilfelheim early. Go to the campsite and speak to the merchant to access a selection of equipment that is intended for late Act 1. From Sniffelheim, head to the end of the Heck Woods and find Orc Kings. Use Hallelujah to obtain their Platinum Lances. This is bad. Here yeah. we go! The Platinum Lance is stronger than the Lightning Lance that is found in the Prince of Valor Casino. It also gives a bit of charm, which is useful for Jade. Nice! In the first forest, find an Infanticore and use Hallelujah to obtain a Skull Ring. The Skull Ring is normally obtained in Act 3 and gives 30 to 50% dark resistance. After Hendrik joins the party, go to the Mini Metal Academy and speak to the teacher in the classroom, where she'll ask you to begin recruiting students. The first student is found at the Eerie Eyrie. Speak to the Jargon Monster at the summit behind the tree where you fought Elysian Bird in Act 1. The second student is at the last bastion. Speak to the little girl on the dock. Go back to the academy and find Jarmima outside to receive the lucky dragon's wing. Find the little girl in the classroom to receive the all-weather earrings. After Rab and Silvando rejoin the party, sail over to Gondolia. The shops there have much stronger equipment than most other Act 2 shops. From Gondolia, make your way to Galopolis. Go to the racetrack where you can win a Metal Slime Helm and Crimson Claws. At around level 35 to 40, begin the side quest found in the Snarefelt Scholar's Cabin, which asks to defeat a Type G0. Once you eventually find a Type G0, use Hallelujah to obtain a Monarchic Mark while simultaneously completing the quest.
While still in the snare felt, battle a group of blizzy bodies and use Hallelujah to obtain several sovereign pieces. I'm ready for anything! Here goes nothing! The Sovereign Seal gives 25-40% dark and ice resistance. Thank goodness! The Goddess Whip can be obtained immediately after unlocking Cetacea. This will require completing a chain of side quests and taking them, but it goes by quickly. Go to Briscoletti's mansion and begin the quest. Then go to All Trades Abbey and find and defeat Pilfithicus on the top left path. Go back to Briscolati's mansion to complete the quest, and then perform the rehearsal marriage. Now go to Chateau Felix and begin the quest. Go back to Briscoletti's mansion and speak to Bianca to obtain the ribbon for the Great Saber Cat. Go back to Chateau Felix to complete the quest, which will unlock Chateau Felix Dusk. Go to Chateau Felix Dusk and begin the quest for the Goddess Whip. Go to the Quester's Rest and find the book on the bookshelf. Go back to Chateau Felix Dusk to complete the quest and finally obtain the Goddess Whip. The Goddess Whip has 135 to 156 attack, which is 37 to 58 points stronger than the second strongest whip in Act 2. With the Goddess Whip equipped, Serena's Twin Dragon Lash outputs similar damage as Hendrik's General Falcon. For a Staff of Resurrection, find a great dragon in the Fortress of Fear and use Hallelujah. Stay alert. Let's go! To obtain Frostfire Fingers, go to Ruby Path of Doom and begin the quest. On the lowest floor, find and defeat the Metal King Slime Boss. 
This boss has very high defense, but low HP. It will die quickly to Quadra Slash and Gold Rush. Use evac, finish the quest, and leave Tickington and save. Go back to the Ruby Path of Doom. Now that the boss is defeated, much stronger monsters from Act 3 will spawn on the lowest floors. Get into a battle and get Jade, Hero, and Eric pepped. Put Jade, Hero, and Eric in the back of the party and then make your way to the lowest floors. Flee from all encounters until you find a Master Lucifer. Use Hallelujah to obtain the Frostfire Fingers. The Frostfire Fingers are the second strongest claws in the game, which can be acquired before defeating Mortigan and finishing Act 2.